Hi everybody, it's Thomas Tig from Direct Relief, and I'm here in Kiev and just wanted to take a minute to say thank you to all of you who've been part of what Direct Relief has been doing here in Ukraine for the past uh, five and a half months. We had a chance over the past couple of days here in Kiev to meet with a half a dozen of the Ukrainian NGOs that Direct Relief has been privileged to work with and support. Um, we wanted to hear from them how, how things are going from their perspective, uh, how they see things unfolding, uh, listen to how they think we could be most helpful moving forward. Um, and it was really helpful. They came in from as far as five or six hours away from Kharkiv, um, uh, being the farthest. And you could really get a sense of the ongoing commitment and just dedication despite still challenging circumstances and a lot of uncertainty. We also wanted the Ukrainian partners to know what we, we've been doing with folks other than them individually. So it's uh, over the ha past 160 days, there's been uh, 106 deliveries from Direct Relief, fulfilling requests for urgent medical needs of all types. Succeeded over 850 tons of material, over $413 million of the material aid alone. And we told them we'll continue to work as much and as fast as we possibly can. In the afternoon, we had a chance to meet with the Deputy Minister of Health, the Deputy Minister of uh, Digital Transformation. They were gracious enough to spend time, again, giving us their view on how things are going, what they anticipate, a lot of concern about the, the winter that's looming, uh, as well as kind of the uncertain security situation. But as you can see here uh, in Kyiv, it's it feels like a bit of return to normal. Uh, if less populated, I think people are going about their business, and that's good to see. So we have, a, uh, have I think, only one air raid siren. I guess those are still reasonably common. Uh, people have been, been accustomed to that. But uh, overall, it's been a very productive visit. We, we learned what the, the Ministry of Health's priority is from the Zelensky government perspective, which unsurprisingly is, you know, strengthen the primary care system, make it more flexible just to deal with the still ongoing dynamic situation that uh, in, in, uh, the country's involved in, and then expanded focus on rehabilitative services for both those who are newly injured as well as those who are previously injured, and kind of the big question mark about how to strengthen mental health services for people who've just um, been through a traumatic experience and remain in very uncertain times. So anyhow, Thanks so much for being part of everything Direct Relief has been, uh, been doing and will continue to do. Can't thank you enough and it's our privilege to stand strong and keep supporting people of Ukraine as they go through a, an awful period, but with a great sense of purpose and clear-eyed determination and courage that's inspiring, for sure. Thanks a lot.